Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. Uh, guys, if you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I so appreciate it. I hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. You know, mama's got your back. At least where makeup's concerned. Anyway, uh, guys, we're just going to be doing this really fun uh, green and purple kind of like moody eye look today. I have a couple of gems you can't really tell because my eyebrow ring is in the way. It's really fun, super easy, and I'm kind of in love with it. Uh, I've been doing a lot of like bright, colorful looks lately, and I haven't done anything like super dark, so I don't know. Guys, it's just the mood I am in it today, and we're just going to kind of roll with it. <laughs> I'm going to use one of my absolute favorite brands, so I'm going to use the Moira Tropical State of Mind palette. This is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so Moira is like an indie brand. Uh, they're actually pretty affordable, but they have sales all the time. And I actually picked this palette up for $5. They had a five-year anniversary sale going on uh, a while back, and I picked up literally every single palette. <laughs> every single palette that was $5, I picked it up. And this was one of them. It is absolutely stunning. Packaging is beautiful. It's nice and heavy cardboard packaging comes with a full-size mirror it folds all the way back which you guys know I love and then this is the color story now I understand that the way that this is laid out probably is not uh some people's favorite I know a lot of people don't like the negative space but I thought it was fun and cute and kind of like different and it was only five dollars and not to mention that the formula is absolutely fantastic I love the Moira formula it just makes me happy and not only that but it's like mostly mattes so that made me even happier and then the shimmers in here are stunning so super super love this palette it's what we're going to be using uh, today guys uh sit back relax uh I know that I do not match and that's totally okay you don't have to match all the time I have no plans of going anywhere it is absolutely frigid and snowing outside and I am in my house all warm and uh kind of hidden away in my office away from everybody so and if, you know and I'm filming filming at a decent time today which is nice too because usually I'm filming at 2 30 in the morning <laughs> and I think it's only what not even like seven o'clock right now so we're doing good. We're on a great timetable, which means I'll be able to go to bed at a decent hour today. So that makes me even happier. So we're just going to jump right into it. Probably going to be a little bit of a longer video. Probably not as long as my last video, but you guys know my videos tend to kind of, uh, they're not short. So get yourself a cup of coffee, get yourself, ooh, get yourself a snack. Uh, I have been living for these. I found these at the gas station the other day and they're kind of like so freaking good. They're these Nerds gummy clusters. Uh, if you guys know what Nerds rope is, I love that. It's like an addiction of mine and I have to stay away from them because candy's kind of like my kryptonite candy and chocolate. Y'all know I'm all about that salted caramel Twix bars, but these are so freaking good. Uh, this is my second bag of them this week. <laughs> so I'm trying to be really good and like stay away from them, but they are parked right here at my desk with me. So yeah, it tells you how, how well my willpower is holding up. So get yourself a cup of coffee, get yourself some candy, some snacks, some chips, whatever. And let's do some makeup. Let's play. Uh, the only thing I have on my face right now is this. This is the e.l.f. Glow Primer Stick. I have been absolutely loving this recently. It just kind of, I'll show you guys how it works. Uh, it just kind of rolls up and then you just kind of like glide it all over your face and it gives you this really beautiful kind of like luminous uh, glow while still being moisturizing. And then Blurs your pores as well. It just makes my skin look so healthy and like fresh and glowy. I really, really love it. I wear this quite often just by itself. Uh, I'll do, I'll put my eyebrows on because y'all know I always have to have my eyebrows, eyebrows done. Uh, but then I'll just put this on and it's fantastic. It makes my skin, like I said, look luminous and glowy and dewy and fresh. Uh, and it blurs out like all my big pores and stuff. So I just feel like I have a little something on my face without really having something on my face. So I'm all for that. I probably just had a dog hair fly into my eye. All my fellow pet owners will know exactly what I'm talking about. Those little fuzzies that just kind of like float in the air and just hit you in the eye every once in a while. Always so much fun. <laughs> Allergies are still 100% here, but we're going to ignore that. I'm going to try not to sniff too awful much uh, during this video. 
but I'm going to stop talking and we'll just kind of like dive into it. Let me check my bat wings real quick because y'all know my uh, lipstick likes to migrate on me and I end up with like that joker smile if I don't keep it in check. So the first color that we're going to go into is this really beautiful bright like not bright, but very rich, dark, like royal green color. It's so, so beautiful. Uh, the name of that is State of Mind. We're going to go in with a thin, flat brush because we are going to go back in and clean everything up here in just a minute. So I'm going to take this super, super cheap. Uh, this comes in a set of four, and I think they're like a dollar a piece, like a dollar a brush. I think the set is like three or four bucks but it averages out to be a dollar a brush and they're so good. They're super cheap, but they're super cute and they really, really work. So I'm just going to lightly tap into this palette and I'm going to start on the outer corner of my eye. And kind of start mapping out my shape. I'm just kind of tapping it on and mapping out my shape really really gently this uh formula is so pigmented though like it doesn't take any effort I'm just going with the natural shape of my eye just like that and then I'm going to bring this down onto my lid a little bit and make kind of like a boomerang shape just like that and it's pretty easy I love you guys know that my channel is all about high impact low effort uh and you know I try to do super fun and bold like creative looks that are actually wearable because you know I know that Especially like with YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff. There are, there's all these like super, super like artistic, beautiful artistic looks out there. But who really has? Well, I mean, what average mom, average lady, average woman, average, you know, man who likes makeup. Who has time to sit there for four or five hours and like do that super amazing, beautifully intricate eye and then actually do stuff for the rest of the day? I know I don't. Uh, so I try to come up with looks that are still like have that kind of vibe and are still fun and fresh and like funky, but are totally doable and are manageable in like the 30, 45 minutes that you have uh, that you can like steal from your day to sit down and do your makeup. At least for me anyway, I know that that's like important to me. So I hope that you guys like appreciate uh, the looks and, and, and understand that's kind of where I'm coming from and kind of the motto of my channel. Using the same brush, I'm going to wipe it off just a little bit on my towel sitting here. I'm going to go into this lighter green color. This is called Tropical. So this one right here, it's it looks, it's kind of like an off green because it's not really a lime green, but it's not a forest green. It's not a dark green. It's kind of like an off green. It's almost like a, like a Christmas green. It is so, so pretty. We're going to dip into here and we're going to take this. and slightly overlap that darker green. And we're gonna start to blend out the edges with this color. It's so pretty and so pigmented. I think when I think of these shadows, I instantly just think of like velvet because they're so soft and like I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but they're just, they're so creamy. They are so, so nice. And I love, love not only the packaging, but I love the brand itself. Like, it is so easy. When you're working with, like, good quality makeup, and I'm not saying, like, good quality has to cost you good money, because literally, I spent five bucks on this palette. A lot of my favorite, uh, brands like BH Cosmetics, like they're super, super affordable. So it doesn't always mean luxury makeup doesn't always have to come with a luxury price tag. And I think that's so important for like us to remember, because especially like it's all about consumerism. Like we every day, all day, every day, we're like 
inundated with like everybody trying to sell us things and trying to say, oh, well, this is better than that. And that's better than this. And, and you know, everything is so freaking expensive. And like the economy right now, if you're anything like us, the economy right now is just crazy. Like we definitely don't have money to be going out and spending like $400 on, on makeup. I can't, I can't do that. I'm lucky if I can spend 30 like once a month, you know what I mean? And, uh, speaking of my boxy charm is coming so soon. I'm so excited. I was able to customize, uh, one of the things that I'm getting in my box. I'm not going to like, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I was able to pick one of the things that I'm going to get. And I am so excited about it. I cannot wait for it to get here. I just kind of already want to like smear it all over my face. So I took the same brush. I wiped it off first. I took the same brush and then I went into this really beautiful, deep, rich, like midnight blue. This is called Under the Moonlight. So this one right here, really, really beautiful, deep, dark blue. So, so gorgeous. And I'm just kind of taking this through my crease and down on the outer corner of my eye and blending it in with that uh, gr that lighter green color just to get a little bit of depth going on. It of course is gonna look much worse before it looks better. These kinds of eye looks usually do. But because the formula is so smooth and so finely milled, it literally takes z almost zero effort kind of blend the colors together and I'm really just kind of wiggling my brush back and forth on the eye. I was actually inspired by my headband and I wanted to make it just a little bit like have tie-dye vibes which I think I pulled off pretty well. It looks very very tie-dye but very dark and very moody. I think it's so pretty and I love the green and the purple together. Super, super Mardi Gras vibes. Uh, now we're going to go into the purple color. So I love this purple. It is so beautiful. It's like that really rich kind of like electric purple. I'll swatch it for you guys just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Because it's just, it's my favorite color of purple. It's like purple, but it's purple with an edge. It's got that like bright, like neon, like undertone to it. Just that kind of electric edge that I think is so, so gorgeous. I love it so much. We're going to take that uh, on the same brush. We're just using the same brush. I'm just kind of wiping it off on my towel down here. That is seen better days. Uh, and just getting most of the pigment off in between shades. And I'm going to go into the purple now. Just tapping. And I'm going to start packing it all over my lid. Bring it all the way to my inner corner. Like I was saying, how is the weather where you guys are? Is it cold and snowy like it is here? I know my husband told me yesterday that we weren't gonna be under a, a winter storm warning uh, for Friday and Saturday. But I went out probably like 30 minutes ago to walk the puppies and it was freaking snowing not like big giant snowstorm snowing but snowing like there was a, a a light layer all over everything and like ah I'm ready for summer I'm ready for summer to be here I'm ready for the sun to come back and for warmth and swimming and outside fun and like I'm just kind of ready for it but you know I also love I love winter I love the coziness and the the cuddling up on the couch and watching movies and you know the warm cups of hot cocoa and it's all a vibe it's just on it just depends on how you're feeling at that particular moment because I know the minute summer gets here and I start sweating my hiney off, I'm gonna be like, oh, I wish it was fall because I'm gonna be hot and bothered and it's just the human condition for us to never be uh, satisfied. And I fully realize that, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I can admit that. <laughs> uh, so that's what we're looking like so far. 
everything is very, very blended. Everything is just kind of like swirled together. I like to call it kind of like my watercolor eye because you can't really tell where, where one color starts and another one ends. It just all kind of like blends in and swirls together and looks just like a really beautiful kind of watercolor. It's so, so pretty. I just packed that color all over my eyelid. We are going to go over this color with a shimmer so it doesn't have to be like super perfect. I'm just making sure that I have a nice opaque even layer of pigment on my lid. And I'm going to finally move into a different brush now using the same brush. Uh, so I have multiple sets of this same brush set. So it's the same exact brush, just a, a different one. And we're going to go into this pink color. So it's called Beautiful Day. So this one right here, really beautiful bright pink color. And we're going to use this on the inner corner. I'm just going to kind of tap it into place and start to blend it in with that green. It's going to kind of like I don't want to say muddy because uh, muddy is not always a good thing when it comes to makeup, but it's kind of what it's going to do. It's going to muddy up that pink just a little bit and make it look just a little bit darker, but it's going to vibe with the whole eye and look really, really pretty. And it's going to add just that little bit of like lightness and light to the inner corner because, you know, you definitely don't want to put something super, super dark on your inner corner. It ten tends to make your eye look very, very small. And I have fairly small eyes to begin with, so I have to bring the light somehow. And see how easily the two colors blend in together, though? Like, it took almost no effort. And the blending is already done. It is so, so freaking pretty. This eye look is just going to go super, super quick. I'm going to try to do a little bit of face makeup today too, uh, just depending on how long the eye look takes and how long I sit here and run my mouth because y'all know I'm good at doing that. I'm real good at doing that. So I'm going to take this really beautiful purple color here. This is a purple shimmer. This is called Dark Romance. Such a beautiful name for such a beautiful color. I'm just going to take it with my finger so beautiful like such a beautiful metallic it's got like micro specks of like pink glitter in there and i'm just gonna start tapping this all over my eyelid i absolutely adore this color this uh shimmer it is so multi-dimensional it's so much more than just like a purple shimmer i think that pink glitter in there makes such a gigantic difference. Almost makes it look like a starry sky. It is so, so beautiful. And not only that, but the actual glitter like doesn't stick on your finger. A lot of times you'll have shimmers that have glitter in them. You put the shimmer down and then it just looks like a metallic because the glitter just falls down onto your face. What I love about this actual formula is that the glitter stays put, it stays on your eye. It stays meshed in with the shadow. And does exactly what you want it to do. It is so beautiful. Let me get closer. It is so pretty. I don't know that my camera is going to pick up the true actual beauty of this uh, shade. But it is so, so stunning. I love it so much. And just to kind of amp it up a little bit, I'm going to take... The same finger i'm going to wipe it off real quick i'm going to take the same finger finger and i'm going to go into moonlight which is this beautiful gold this is a glittery gold as well it's got it's super metallic but it's got little tiny specks of like gold glitter in there too and i'm just going to kind of tap this right into the center of my eye Just going to place it because I want the most uh, pigment laid down right in the center. Almost a spotlight, but not quite. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a clean finger and I'm just going to kind of pat it all over. And kind of distribute that gold glitter a little bit. 
and it gives it just a little bit more dimension, brings a little bit more light to the party. I think it is so, so pretty. Just that little addition really does make a difference. And again, if you don't want to do that, you totally don't have to. You can keep it nice and dark and moody, and it's still going to look absolutely stunning. But I wanted to add just a little bit of pizzazz to the whole moment, and I think it does that beautifully. I'm going to wipe off my fingers. I'm going to go back in to a different brush now. I'm going to use this Dew Color 09. So this is just kind of like a mid-sized, fluffy, domed blending brush. I'm going to go in to this really beautiful light pink color called Basic. Uh, anything but, really. But I'm going to go into this bad boy right here. And I'm going to use this to kind of start softening up my line here. I still want it to be nice and defined, but I do want to soften it just a touch. And kind of blur that edge just a little bit. This is a perfect size brush for this application. Just going all the way from my inner to outer corners. And it is a really beautiful, very, very soft uh, baby pink. So it's not going to be like a bold color addition, but it's going to look like a soft pink halo around the green that I think is so pretty. And again, adds just a little bit more uh, dimension and depth to the look. Just kind of swirling it all the way along the perimeter of that darker shadow. And guys, we're just about done. I told you this was going to be a super, super quick look. Not difficult at all. And it's so freaking pretty. Okay, so we're going to take a, this is my, uh, from AOA Studios, so from Shop Miss A, super, super cheap, $1 brush. This is just a teeny tiny uh, pencil brush. It is the E124, teeny tiny little pencil brush. And we're going to go back into that gold shade. So Moonlight. And we're going to take this right underneath the highest point of our brow. I'm going to take this just a little bit on the inner corner as well. And then we'll clean up our fallout and address the bottom lash line. But I always like to bring it out onto my lower lash line just a little bit to kind of pull the eye and pull the light. Just like that. We do have a little bit of fallout, so I'm definitely going to have to take a makeup wipe and kind of go under my eye to clean that up. Run it across my edge just to make sure we're nice and sharp. That blue and green, and they're so pigmented, a lot of times you kind of have to expect just a tiny, well, and that wasn't even very much. That was all the fallout we got. That's not very much at all. And a lot of times with uh, more pigmented eyeshadows, you kind of have to expect a little bit of fallout just because it's kind of the name of the game. But it is so pretty and so stunning. And guys, that literally took us like no time at all. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm going to go through my crease one more time. Just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Make sure we don't have any harsh lines. No sharp edges. And we're done. It's stunning. We're going to do a little bit of a black eyeliner. I'm going to take my e.l.f. No Budge Eyeliner and I'm going to go through my upper. Waterline. Guys know I do that just to make my lashes look a little bit thicker. I, uh, I have really, really been feeling this eyeliner stick here recently. 
You guys know that my favorite is the Milani uh, Stay Put Eyeliner, but this is just as good. Like, it doesn't migrate on me. It doesn't give me that big, like, gross nastiness on my inner corner. This is so freaking good, and I think this is, like, half the price of the Milani one. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to repur repurchase. Probably both, but I really, really, really enjoy this one. I do think that the Milani one is just a little bit richer uh, and more black, and I think it's just a little bit... um kind of like smoother but this is absolutely fantastic as well for the lower lash line we're gonna go in with my favorite colored eyeliner so this is the nyx epic wear eyeliner stick in the shade fierce purple absolutely beautiful beautiful uh purple color we're gonna take this in the lower water line i'm gonna do a nice thick line of this And these really are so smooth and pigmented as well. There's no tugging on my lash line. It doesn't irritate my eyes in any way. And it's really, really easy to get a nice thick application. It's a really beautiful kind of like dark purple color. And then we're going to take one more brush. We're going to take this, the same brush, just the same flat brush. I'm going to wipe it off real quick use this one this one's clean i'm gonna wipe it off real quick and i'm gonna go in it with this pink color so i'm gonna use the which one did i use on the lower lash line i think i used this brighter pink so we're gonna go in with a beautiful day that really beautiful kind of like bright bubblegum pink and i'm gonna use this to smudge out that eyeliner and kind of soften the edge of it smoke it out just a little bit very very gentle pressure just going back and forth right up against the lash line and it really does deposit a really beautiful amount of pigment but it's not like boom in your face like hi guy you have pink eye kind of color it's just a really soft just like that so pretty i love it so so much we're gonna do a little bit of a black kind of like a baby mini wing on the upper lash line if i can find my pencil y'all know i would lose my head if it wasn't freaking attached i have been loving my nyx uh liquid eyeliner here recently it is so good one of my absolute favorites and i put it away and now i can't find it so let's hunt for it again watch it not be in here watch me have stuck it somewhere else and now it's just hiding from me because that's quite possible there it is so this is the nyx i think it's the epic wear so it's the epic ink liner my battery is about to die i know thank you so much so this is the NYX Epic Ink Liner, liner, just in the waterproof black one. And I have to have waterproof proof because my eyes are so freaking watery. Y'all can tell they're like super red and irritated. They're just so watery. And I know it's allergies. And I'm going to start at the middle of my eye. And bring it back. I'm not going to do a super thick line. Like I said, I just want like a little baby wing and I'm going to kind of fade it into my lash line. The reason I'm not taking it all the way to my inner corner is I don't want to add any more darkness there. Uh, I put that pink and that lighter purple there uh, just to really make sure that there was some light on the inner corner. Uh, and by taking the black all the way to my inner corner, I feel like it's just going to negate a little bit of that. So I'm just going to keep it and stick to the outer corner of my eye. And I'm gonna do the teeniest, tiniest little baby wing. Just to kind of reinforce the shape that we made with our eyeshadow. Teeny tiny little baby wing. Just like that, just enough to kind of give this that slight cat eye effect and no more. 
yeah, I'm happy with that. That looks really, really pretty. And then the last thing we have to do is put on a little bit of mascara. Uh, I'm still using that Rocket one. It's not my favorite at all, but it's open and I paid for it. So we're not going to waste it. But I tell you what, I eagerly await the day when I can open up a new tube. I actually uh, picked up I picked up a new mascara when I went to Walmart the other day. I picked up, what, what was the name of it? I picked up, oh, it's the Maybelline Sky High, but it's the carbon black one. I don't know. I can't, I can't quite remember what the name of it was, but it looks so good. And it's waterproof, so I can't wait to dig into that. But a waste not, want not, so we're not going to waste this because mascara is not free. So we're going to use it until it's gone. But I cannot wait to open a new tube. I'm also hoping that as this ages, as this mascara ages, it's going to get better. Uh, I do, I, I will tell you, I do like it now, better now uh, than I did when I first opened it. So I'm hoping it's just going to continue to get better with time. And I'm not like a big fan of this brush either. The bristles on it aren't quite long enough to really get in there and really separate the lashes. I don't know, every time I use this, I feel like I poo on it, and I don't really wanna do that. If you guys like this mascara, I'm so happy for you. Um, I can tell that it, for some people, it probably would work really, really well. It just doesn't do very much for my lashes. And I think the, I think I'm just mad about it because like I paid for it and I don't like it. <laughs> it's a story of my life. Just going to do a quick little coat on my lashes, and then I'll tell you what I've got on my lips. And then we will be done. Finito, babies. That's what she's looking like. Uh, ignore my super red, uh, very watery eyes. I think it's so pretty. I'm really kind of in love with it. I would totally wear this anywhere. Um, I don't know if it's Mardi Gras or if it's Barney. Uh, if you guys remember Barney, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I watched that all the time when I was a kid. Um, so I don't know if it's giving me Barney or Mardi Gras, but either way, I'm kind of here for it. So on my lips today, what do I have on my lips today? I have a tiny bit of a lip liner. So this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. You guys know these are my favorite, uh, favorite lip liners. Uh, this is in the shade Sweet Tooth. So it's just a really, really pretty kind of pink darker pink, almost leaning berry uh, tone. And I have this just around the perimeter of my lips. It is almost exactly the same shade as the lipstick we're gonna be using. And the lipstick of choice today is this one. So this is the, is this Revlon? So this is the Revlon Cream uh, Lipstick in the shade 770 Dramatic. So, so pretty. I love this color. It's purple, it's pink, it's magenta, it's fierce, and it's absolutely stunning. super, super comfortable on the lips. It like, it's like barely there. It feels like a lip balm. It's not drying. It's nicely moisturizing. It's, like I said, so, so comfortable and super affordable. I love these lipsticks. I, I legitimately have like every single color ever made in these lipsticks just because they're my, they're one of my favorite formulas. Like they last for a really good long time. Um, they don't, I don't, they don't migrate too badly on me. Uh, and I love the shine. There's like that satin kind of not gloss, but it's not matte. It's like that really beautiful in between. And it's, oh, it's so good. And it's perfect for this look, I think. So guys, there's the look. What do we think? 
Do we like it? Do we love it? Would we rock it? Please let me know in the comments below. As always, I will be posting finished pics over on my Facebook page, Make It For The Everyday Mama. I will, of course, leave a link in the description box below, along with all of the products that I used in today's video. Guys, please let me know what you want to see from me next. Is there a certain color combination you'd like to see me do? Is there a certain shape you'd like me to try? Is there a certain palette I just need to get my hands on? Please let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I appreciate every Everyone who comments and everyone who views my videos you guys are more important to me than you probably will ever know and that's about it for today oh my goodness I almost forgot the stones I almost forgot to put my pearls on <sighs> guys I'm losing my mind so uh these are these, let me show you so these are from wet and wild they're the fantasy makers individual gems they come in a package that looks like this uh this is an un an unopened one but this is what it looks like and I'm just going to use a couple of these little teeny tiny baby pearls down here and I'm going to kind of peck them on the outer edge of my eye just to add a little bit of extra pizzazz because you guys know I'm just extra like that. Uh, these are self-adhesive as well which makes them really really easy to use which I love. It's really difficult sometimes especially when I have uh, my nails done to like glue on gems and stuff. So I'm just gonna pack it, I'm just gonna press it right onto the outer corner. Of my eye with my little tweezers. Just for that little extra something, something. Definitely don't have to put these on, but I thought it added a little something that was really nice. Uh, I like it with, I like it without. You let me know. Do you like it with the gems or without? I'm interested in your responses. Guys, I promise you that really is the end of this tutorial now that we've made it to 40 minutes. <laughs> I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys are staying warm. I hope you guys are staying happy. And... Yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And as always, stay safe, take care of yourselves. Remember, you're important. Bye.